Alright, so hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be going over some laptops that you guys can get for the holiday season. Um, now, these are going to be technically gaming laptops, but I think for a lot of power users or people who do other things, sort of video rendering kind of stuff, uh, photo editing, or anything that might require a little bit more horsepower than your normal Ultrabook, then I think that a lot of these laptop recommendations are going to be good for you guys. Um, I'm going to kind of get into more of the nuances between each laptop that I talk about but yeah before we get into it make sure if you end up enjoying the video or find it helpful make sure to leave a like on it if you guys want to see more content like this make sure to hit that subscribe button and if you guys want to get your questions answered in real time make sure to go down below check out my link down in the description to my twitch account um, I do streams there fairly often so if you guys want to go and check it out um, it's a great place to hang out with a bunch of other members from the community just kind of sit there talk tech play some video games Games, um, and it's usually a pretty enjoyable experience. But yeah, with all of that out of the way, let's get into our first computer. So this is the HP Victus. Um, now in terms of form factor, it's a 16.1 inch laptop, so it is slightly larger than your conventional laptop. Um, honestly, I think this is going to be one of those laptops for people um, who might be a little bit more into the kind of creative space, people who are more into kind of like photo editing and stuff like that. The CPU on this laptop is, is pretty good. Um, it's a Core i5-11400H, and that means that this is a 6-core, 12-thread CPU. Um, so you've got a good amount of cores to be able to do a lot of the work that you might need to do. Um, in terms of memory, this is going to be a pretty big area where it's lacking. Now, you can upgrade it. Um, most memory on all these laptops is able to be upgraded, um, but again, if you want to kind of stick to the $750 price range, uh, you might just kind of want to stick to the 8 gigs and kind of see where that gets you. And then if it's, you know, a pretty big hindrance, then you could probably find a kit of memory um, to, to upgrade the system because depending on what sort of workload you're doing, if you're mainly just doing uh, web page browsing and stuff like that, and then you might be playing some esports games, which is kind of what this laptop is directed towards. You might not need more than eight gigs of memory, but again, I, I, I still think that it should be fine for the people who are looking to buy a laptop within this price range. But again, I'd probably just play with the thing for a little bit, assess your needs to see if the memory is really a bottleneck, um, and then upgrade it later down the line. If if you really need it. Now, when it comes to the GPU, um, it has an RTX 3050. Now, the RTX 3050 is not a stellar gaming card. Um, it's a good card. I don't think it's bad, um, but it's not going to provide you stellar 1080p performance on pretty much every game you're going to play. This is going to be kind of more of a GPU that's directed towards people who might be doing some professional tasks during the day. Um, who, you know, might need to, you know, do some rendering, might need to do some CAD work or whatever. Um, and then, you know, if you go back to your room or whatever, or if you're done for the day, you might want to play like some League of Legends, some CSGO, some Fortnite, something that doesn't really require a whole lot of GPU horsepower compared to other titles out there. Um, and I honestly think that it's, it should be a more than fine GPU. And the other added bonus to buying one of these things, uh, because it's an NVIDIA GeForce RTX card, um, you're going to be able to have access to the DLSS technology uh, that is available in particular game titles. I know Fortnite kind of comes to mind, uh, where DLSS pretty much just allows the GPU to get much better FPS. Um, and you just kind of see a little bit less of a, of a visual fidelity but you get a pretty big boost when it comes to FPS. So for a lot of people who are playing competitive games and that's a feature, um, again, the, the, the RTX 3050 should be fine for you guys. And again, I mean, I didn't even really talk about a whole lot. The price point of $750 is probably the best that you're gonna get when it comes to a gaming laptop. So I'm gonna put the link to all of these down in the description below so you guys can go check them out for yourselves. But yeah, I think this will be a pretty good gaming laptop for a lot of people. Again, I would just keep in mind the, the storage and the memory limitations. Again, if that becomes a bottleneck later down the line, there are various guides online on how to upgrade the memory um, and storage on these particular laptops. So again, I would probably go check one of those out if you do find yourself needing more memory. Um, but yeah, I, I think that this laptop should perform fine for most people. All right, let's move on to one of the stars of the show. Um, now, I was looking around and I could not find any of the other models of the Legion 5 15 inch models. Um, the only ones I could find were on Micro Center. Um, again, I'll probably do another video on Micro Center's best deals because I, I think Micro Center is just kind of a separate entity for a lot of people. Um, again, 
this is gonna be Best Buy. This is gonna be to a broad general group of people um, because Best Buy and Amazon are pretty much the two <laughs> stores that most people can buy a lot of their tech from. Uh, so yeah, that's why we we are using both of those websites uh, when it comes to our recommendations today. But yeah, I digress on um, the Lenovo Legion 5 15 inch. So this is a variation of the kind of the same chassis, same model of laptop that my roommate has. Uh, my roommate pretty much has the exact same thing, except with more memory, a higher capacity SSD and an RTX 3060 instead of a 3050 Ti. Now, in terms of performance, this thing should be fine. I think that this laptop is going to be one of a lot of people's favorites it is honestly one of my favorites because um, for people who are just really looking to get into gaming at 1080p, uh, maybe not super high refresh rates, but um, at 1080p medium settings, this laptop should play pretty much whatever game you want, old or new. Um, it should be able to play, you know, the new Halo Infinite that comes out, any pretty much story game that comes out recently. Um, again, I think that this laptop is going to be the kind of the go-to for a lot of people, but there's going to be one caveat. You're going to need a memory upgrade. For these higher fidelity games and these games that really do kind of take more system resources, 8 gigs is just not enough. If you want to like listen to Spotify or have a YouTube video up in the background or do any sort of other thing while you're gaming, you're going to need more than 8 gigs of memory. Um, so I'm going to also include in the description down below the upgrade kit that you probably should be considering um, when you buy this laptop so this is just a compatible stick of ram um it should run at the frequency that this laptop's memory already runs at there should also be just an open slot for memory um you really don't need to take anything out you should just be able to buy this thing off of amazon get it shipped in really quick um and then you should just be able to open up the back of the laptop with a normal phillips head screwdriver and then just plop it in the slot and pretty much just turn it back on and it should be fine to go um i'll probably post some memory upgrade guides down in the description if you guys want to check those out as well um but yeah i honestly think that this lenovo legion 5 should be great um when it comes to specs the ryzen 7 5800h is a, a a great cpu eight cores 16 threads it doesn't clock extremely high it probably performs um, if you guys kind of know your desktop chips it probably performs pretty close to a 3700x on desktop uh, maybe a little bit worse in some scenarios but um, that's kind of its relative performance partner on the desktop and again this laptop is built extremely well it's a little bit chonky it's not a thin and light whatsoever but for people who are just looking to play some games people who are looking to have some fun over the holiday season play some new stuff i think this laptop should be fine their 3050 ti should offer you a pretty good amount of performance on this laptop since it is getting really good cooling um, a lot of power all the power that it pretty much needs uh, to run at its maximum capabilities and again i, I honestly think this thing is going to be fine for pretty much any use that you have um, i wouldn't say that you need to upgrade your storage uh, you can if you want uh, but again, the only thing I would say is just buy the stick of memory, the $40 that it costs to get this thing uh, in and shipped, um, I, I think is fine for most people who are considering buying this $1,000 laptop. And it's a pretty necessary upgrade, um, and it's going to give you a pretty good boost to performance as well. Now for our next laptop, um, this is going to be the MSI GL66. Um, as of right now, this one I'm still kind of on the fence of. If you can't buy a laptop off of Best Buy, this is probably gonna be the one I'm gonna steer you towards. Now, there are some upsides and downsides to this laptop. Um, I have a video that I made a couple days ago that you guys should probably go check out if you are thinking about going out and looking for a gaming laptop because there are some things that you do need to know when it comes to the GPUs on these things. I'm going to kind of summarize it here, but the 3070 on this thing doesn't really perform like most 3070s are going to perform. Um, it's going to be restricted in the amount of power that is supplied to it. Um, a lot of times, maybe even this 3050 Ti might come close to the performance level of this 3070. But the reason why I am recommending this laptop that has a 3070 in it is because generally a 3070, even though it has a lot less of a power budget than um, a lot of these other GPUs and these different systems have, um, it's still going to perform 
pretty well in most games. And it also has a much larger amount of memory. It has uh, 8 gigs instead of the standard 4 gigs, I think, with a 3050 Ti um, and the 6 gigs that the 3060 comes with. This thing should have 8 gigs. So if you're actually looking to do some sort of um, more professional level of video editing and stuff like that, then that amount of memory is going to give you some extra performance that you're probably not going to have with another GPU. The other thing with the RTX 3070 is that it's just a bigger GPU. So it has a lot more cores to do its specialized tasks. It should be better at DLSS. It should be better at ray tracing and it should just be better at general compute. Um, so even though it does have a lower, you know, amount of power that is going to it than it probably should have, it's not going to clock as high, but it sh still should perform fairly well for most people's tasks. And the price of this laptop, I think kind of justifies that viewpoint for $1,400. I think that a lot of people, even though you're getting a 3070, you're probably going to be expecting 3060 level performance. And that's pretty much what you're going to be getting with this laptop. Now, with the i7-11800H, it is a very similar CPU to the Lenovo Legion 5800H. Um, it might clock a little bit higher than it, but again, they're pretty much just going to be neck and neck when it comes to overall performance. Um, you know, Intel and AMD are pretty much at parity at this point when it comes to laptop GPUs. Um, and you're not really going to be using the integrated GPU on it, so that's not really a point of contention, I feel like. Uh, but yeah, when it comes to the memory, you got 16 gigs of it, you got a 512 gigabyte SSD, and then you got Windows 10 with it. All right, so let's move on to the ROG Zephyrus G14. Now, this is one of my favorite gaming laptops. I personally have a variation of this laptop. It's called the G15. Um, it's a again a very similar laptop is just slightly larger got a better screen uh, higher refresh rate and um, A better GPU in it, but that's really the only differences between this one and the one that I have and I have loved my laptop It has been absolutely insane um, I think that Asus has done a great job with this generation of laptops and I've talked to a bunch of people who have had the ROG G14 and they say it does whatever they need it to do and it's super small fits in whatever backpack that you want and it does the work man like this thing is an insane performer when it comes to gaming video rendering or anything like that like whatever you pretty much want to do it's going to be able to do. Um, now again, there are limitations to laptops in general. It does only have a 3060 in it, but that 3060 is getting a full 100 watts to it. Um, so it is going to perform like a 3060 should. Um, and the Ryzen 9 5900 HS in this laptop is again just an absolute beast. I have the same exact CPU in my laptop. This thing performs extremely well in any sort of video editing scenario, photo editing, coding, whatever. I really don't experience any problems with the CPU. It's just so fast. Um, you get the 16 gigs of memory and the one terabyte SSD. There are probably other laptops that you can find out there for this or this price point or less that might have a better GPU in it. But the reason why I'm just talking about the ROG Zephyrus G14 is because of the fact that it has that small form factor, the great screen, the high refresh rate, the great keyboard, and everything else. If you're just someone who's looking straight for specs, then yes, you're going to be able to find something probably better than this when it comes to price point. But if you're looking for something that is an overall just great laptop, then you're probably not going to be able to find something as great as this. Um, the build quality, again, is absolutely amazing. And then when it comes to your port selection, like again, it's gonna be great. You've got two USB Type-C ports, one on each side. You've got two USB Type-A ports, um, a HDMI jack and an audio jack. And then you got your, your power in. And again, I think it performs great. It's a great looking laptop. And I think most of the people I've talked to have absolutely loved this thing. So if you're someone who's looking for a great overall um, small form factor, beast of a gaming laptop, this is going to be the one to get. All right, so our last laptop we're going to be including or going to be talking about is going to be the RG Flow. Now, the reason why this is going to be the last one is because, um, well, 5 actually makes a pretty decent video. I don't want this thing to get too long, uh, but also as, you know, the higher and higher you end up going in terms of um, price point, you're, you're going to be losing a lot of your value proposition. But I think the RG Flow is one of the coolest um, things that you can get on the market. And because of that, I think a lot of people are really going to like it. I think the RG Flow is one of the best feature set oriented laptops that you can get on the market. Like if you're someone who's considering getting a MacBook or just a portable tablet or something like this, you might want to consider getting the ROG Flow. Um, I think the ROG Flow is really more geared towards people who 
um, might be kind of more business oriented and then might win a game later down the line but this thing should just be a beast for whatever you want to do first off it is going to be tiny uh, if you guys can read here it is going to be 13.4 inches and if you guys don't really understand how how that works that is the length from this top corner to the bottom corner of the screen um, so 13.4 inches is not, it's not 13.4 inches across it's a lot less than that so it is a, a very small and compact laptop so you can pretty much carry this thing around with you wherever you want to go um, and you're going to be packing a lot of horsepower into this thing so you're getting the same exact cpu the ryzen 9 5900hs that is in the rg zephyrus laptop um, so you're getting that same uh, 8 cores and 16 threads at pretty high clock speeds. I think the boost is up to 4.4 gigahertz, uh, which again is pretty high. So again, should be able to do all the video editing that you might want to do. And then for the graphics card, you're getting RTX 3050 Ti. Again, that's going to be more of a restriction to the form factor um, than anything else. I'm sure they would have liked to put a higher end GPU in it, but I think the 3050 Ti with its lower power budget, I think is going to be kind of the go-to for this particular laptop. Now, the customer images of this thing, I think also look pretty good um this thing is not very upgradable first off so i, I just want you guys to kind of get that um out of the way it's it's this super thin and light thing so they really don't have a whole lot of space to make it very upgradable but the cool thing is is that this is actually a tablet so you can kind of bend this thing all the way back and it is completely touch screen as well so um if you're someone who likes to fold the laptop back and um, you know be able to do your spreadsheets and stuff like that like scroll through presentations or whatever This is gonna be a laptop to do that So if you're like a business professional who's doing presentations and stuff like that You also have all the ports that you might need you have an HDMI port a USB type a and a USB type C I think that is one of the high bandwidth USB type C connectors So you should be able to put out a display I think off of it don't quote me on it i probably have to do some later research after this video i'll probably plug it in here somewhere while i'm editing um but overall like if you're someone who wants to be able to take this thing around with you and have a super high refresh rate super great screen um and you just want to be able to do all the work that you want to do do any sort of cad rendering uh do any sort of video editing on the go on this again super lightweight laptop i think this is gonna be the one to go for and the other really cool thing about this laptop um, is that if you want more performance, if you want more GPU performance, you can buy this little kit um, that I saw up here on the right. Now, this is going to be the combo, uh, but you should be able just to buy this little extra kit. And you can get an RTX, I think, 3080 with it. And this is pretty much just a GPU dongle add-on. So if you guys kind of kind of see here, it adds a bunch of more connectivity to it you can buy this i think off of the rog website but this is, has a gpu within it uh, you can get up to a 3080 and then you get a display port an hdmi out an ethernet jack and then a bunch of usb type a ports on this and it just plugs into the side of the rog flow so if you really do want the best performance out of this thing you can buy the the base laptop and then if you find yourself needing something more when you need to sit down and do some more work you can literally just plug Plug this thing into the side of the laptop and just go balls to the wall with the performance level so i honestly think that this is one of my favorite laptops of the year uh, for people who are real power users this thing should be absolutely insane so yeah that's going to be the end of the video again this thing is kind of going on a little bit longer than i would have liked it to go uh, but if you did enjoy it make sure to leave a like um, if you guys want to watch more content like this make sure to hit that subscribe button and if you guys want to get your tech questions answered uh, by me in real time if you guys want to sit down and talk make sure to go check out my twitch channel uh, we're gonna be streaming there fairly often during the year uh, so yeah go and check that out hopefully you guys have a great rest of your day and i hope to see you guys in the next one peace